what's up it's Candice welcome back to my channel so as you can tell I am in a hotel room and that is because I am still in California tonight I'm actually in LA and I have a really really early flight in the morning but I figured while I had some downtime and a little peace and quiet that I would shoot a quick video for you guys to show you all all of the things that I got at the Morphe store in Victoria Gardens yesterday um, if you're not really sure what I'm talking about so the previous video that I posted showed you all my very first experience in a Morphe beauty store and you guys it was everything that I thought it would be and so much more and one of my co-workers Johanna was so just nice and fun and gracious enough to take me there and experience this with me and I had a ton of fun. She got some great products, I got some too, and I wanted to show you all in this video everything that I got from the Morphe store. So before we jump into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you're always notified of every future upload. So if you wanna see what I got, keep on watching. All right, first things first, here's my little Morphe bag. So definitely gonna keep this bag. It's nice and sturdy and just amazing. So first things first, now I think I've mentioned it in a previous video, not sure, but I absolutely love setting sprays, prep sprays, priming sprays, all of that. And one of my holy grail setting sprays is the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray. Um, and here's what this looks like. And I will obviously, as always, have all these products linked down in the description box. But this is the Continuous Mist Setting Spray. And one of the things that I really love about it is unlike other setting sprays, it's not a spritz, it's a mist. So I don't feel like it leaves all of the little wet droplets all over your face when you use it. So I really love it for that. And it legitimately does what it says. It says it's a continuous mist. So I'm gonna waste a little product, but the best part, it's only like 15 bucks, so it's okay. Oh. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's gonna make my hair get big. It got wet. <laughs> but you all, this is a really awesome setting spray. So, ow, I just hit myself. <laughs> Oh, so make sure you check this out. Okay, I'll have it linked below. Next thing I got is, of course, this was kind of one of those items that, you know, stores have all of the little small items at the register for a reason. And I think it's because they have a picture of my face and they say, oh my God, that sucker Candace, she is going to buy it. So I've never tried Morphe's face wipes before. So these were by the register and I think they were only like three dollars and you get 30 wipes in a pack. Here's what these look like and they are cucumber scented. So really excited about these and it says it just gently removes all of your makeup before you catch up on your beauty sleep. So these are great to use at night before you go to bed when you're taking your full face off. So that was a product. The next product that I got was the Blushing Babes Pop of Fuchsia Blush Trio. Here's what the packaging looks like. And it's a trio, so it's got three different um, brush products in here. And this was the Blend the Rules palette. And let me open this for you. So here's what, it's the, the new sleek Morphe packaging, just the matte black with the new white Morphe logo. And, uh, all right, so I'm gonna remove this. And here are the colors. So I think all of these would be very flattering on my skin tone, maybe with the exception of the one in the middle, but we've got visionary, hot, and edgy. So really looking forward to trying this out. Cause that's one thing that I don't have a lot of is I don't have a lot of blushes. I just don't wear them. I don't think to ever put it on or anything like that, but I'm gonna try and use more blushes. That's something I've said to myself, gotta use more blush. So I figured if I was gonna try one, might as well try a cheap one for Morphe. Here we go. 
All right, next product is I got the Morphe High Impact Highlighter in the color Mirage. And here's what the packaging looks like. And it says, Get Lit, a daringly creamy zero gravity highlighter for explosive prismatic effects. So fancy. <laughs> And I don't know if I can get this open to show you all. So this again is in the color Mirage. Same simple packaging as the blush. Oh, it's so pretty. You guys, for real. This color. Uh, it's like a gold, like a metallic gold color. I'm going to swatch it real quick. Oh, it's so buttery. So smooth. That wasn't a good swatch, but I promise it shows up better. Let me try this again. Okay, that one was better. So it's a really nice color, you guys. I think it just gives a subtle glow. It's nothing major. It doesn't claim to be super blinding. Um, but I think this is a nice little subtle touch for the cheeks going into the fall and winter months. If you want to still have that little sun kiss glow without looking like too extreme and dramatic, I think this would be perfect. So we'll see. I know they look different when you actually use a brush to apply it, which brings me to this brush. I bought the M510 brush to go with this highlighter. So I'm hoping that this performs better with the brush than it did with my finger with just swatching it. So I did get this, the Morphe M510 brush. And you'll see a lot of other like beauty bloggers and influencers. This is the one brush that I feel is like a holy grail brush for Morphe besides the M439 brush, which I did pick up a backup because this is my absolute favorite brush to use to apply my stick foundations. And you all know that the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation is my absolute number one holy grail, no questions asked, not leaving home without it foundation. And they have a brush that they made for that foundation, but you all, the foundation's like, what, 48, 50 bucks? The brush is the same price as the foundation. I'm not paying that kind of money for a brush when Morphe sells the exact same brush for like $10 and it performs actually better than the hourglass brush. So I picked this one up because I do have a spare at home, but I told my girlfriend Jessica that I would let her have it so she could try it with her vanish stick because last week I talked her into going to Sephora and picking up a vanish stick of her own for her to try, but I told her don't pay $50 for the brush. Let me give you one of the Morphe brushes. So I got it back up. And the last product that I got, well I actually got two, is I got the liquid lipsticks. So I got two of them and here is what the packaging looks like. And of course I had to get two red colors because you all know that reds are like my favorite lip colors to wear. And with fall coming up, of, gore, of course I figured these would be perfect and I had to get the iconic original Morphe color and then I also got Bloodshot. And so here, I'll take one of these out so you can see what the actual lipstick looks like. And this is an actually, what does it say? Okay, it's a velvety matte finish. It says super saturated color and it is kiss proof wear. So it's got a nice little frosted glass and then it's just got the Morphe logo on it. And then it's got like a little angle top and it's got the M if you can see that. Um, icon on the top and here's what the applicator looks like it's your normal applicator it's nothing fancy um but yeah so here's what i'm gonna swatch this color Ooh, oh it feels so nice oh and it smells so good it kind of smells like i want to say maybe cupcakes it smells really nice so this is what morphe looks like and then let me swatch Bloodshot. <laughs> and then let me get this open. I will say their packaging is super tight. <laughs> and then here is Bloodshot. And this is like a more deeper, like cranberry color. 
This reminds me a lot of the carroty color that I showed you all a couple weeks ago in my favorite reds lips. So here are what these colors look like. Two completely different colors, but you all, it feels so nice on my hand and it doesn't feel like it's drying or anything. So it does say velvety matte. So to me, that means that there should be a little bit of moisture and just from the swatches on my hand, I feel like it will be. All right, so guys, that is all I have. I have a bottomless bag. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I kept pulling something out, pulling something, but I promise that's everything now. Um, so um, my first experience to a Morphe store, like I said, it was everything I thought it would be and more. So, so glad that I was able to go and so glad that I had someone to join me. Um, again, three of these products I've actually used before, um, but the rest of them, they're new. And so I'm excited to try. I will definitely be showcasing in a full face, a chit chat, get ready with me or something soon, I'm sure. So be sure to check that out. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified of every future upload. All right, guys, see you in the next video.